Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled in memory of Rabbi Hirsch Levitan, father of our esteemed member, Dr. Levitan, Dr. Chaim Levitan. And the question is, when did Dr. Chaim begin Aninut? It's a fascinating case. Rabbi uh, Hirsch lived his last, raised his last breath on Shabbat afternoon, went to Mincha. And uh, then he passed away right after that. Dr. Levitan found out middle of Saturday night, Sunday morning here in Israel. By the time they got the body ready to fly out, it was Monday. Day and a half after he heard. So is he in owning all that time? Normally, the seven relatives from the time of death till burial, a relative is in owning. This is a quasi avelut status. We'll talk about that in the another year. What exactly is an onain? So, is Doctor was Dr. Levitan an onain immediately from four o'clock in the morning? Let's say when he heard the news Sunday morning and straight through for the next twenty-four plus hours, uh, almost thirty hours or so. So, it's a fascinating machloka. The Shulchan Aruch himself, Paskins, has reshown him that argue about this, Rabbi Natam and Rosh and others. Shulchan Aruch Paskins, I feel about it doesn't matter. It's a low plug fixed across the board. A relative, one of the seven relatives, passes away. That's it. Only from death to burial. However, the Shach comes along and says that there's others that say differently, that say that not true. That if he's in this different different city, of course we're in Tom's case, a different city, and he's not an Oni. Why? When the relative is in front of him in the same city, not across the world. So it's a fascinating argument. Is it a low plug, a fixed status, or is it more of a connection that the person must have with the relative? Even if he's not doing all the planning, his older brother's doing the planning. But still, it's made to mutalafanav. It's in the same city, at least. So it's fascinating. Machloke from Ben Amorosh, seven, eight, nine hundred years ago, and it hasn't been resolved. Shochan Aruch Paskin is like the Rosh, that it doesn't matter where. The Shach brings down other she taught, and you look at any safer on Avelut, and they can say Yei Shomim, Yei Shomim, different opinions. So it turns out it's not a black and white question at all. There's a lot of variables involved. There's no clear psak. And what about if the person is going to be brought to Israel? Is that a factor? Some say, yeah, that's a fact. Of course, eventually Dr. Levitin will become an owner. At what point? Some say only when he lands. Some say not already in the morning. There's a lot of different opinions. It's a fascinating topic. And the person has to, of course, talk to his rub about the specific case and details to get the psak halacha. We should just have smachot. The family should have the